I am Jaybird. I'm Mockingbird. And this is Slackland. Slackland. So check it out. Slacklining is all about focus. It's about committing to the line, finding your center of balance, finding your center of gravity, and just going with it. It's about losing the ego and being one with the line and sort of just being organic. So none of this probably makes any sense unless we've actually tried it or tried something similar. But slacklining really will help you in every aspect of your life. So this video basically is about slacklining philosophy and watching the mockingbird do his thing. So what you basically want to do is lose the ego and lose everything about the ego that makes you sort of, um, you know, think, oh, it's scary, or, you know, oh, it's too high, it's, you know, whatever, it's too thin, it's not going to support my weight, whatever that is. You know, that's called ego, and that's not good. You know, that'll keep you from doing a lot of cool things in your life, taking those risks. So once you get rid of the ego and once you get rid of all that negative energy, everything saying that, oh, I can't do it, I can't do this, they're watching, whoever, whatever, you can do a lot of cool things. And anything you can do on the ground, you can do on here. So in just one motion, you're up. And you want to keep your center of gravity over the line. You want to use your arms to balance. And whenever you're ready, you can make that first step. And then the rest is history. But like I said, it's just all about focus and taking care of business. All right, Mockingbird? Yes, sir. Like everything else, once you fall off, you just got to get back on. I'm like this guy. Chill now. You got to chill out sometimes. But again, the philosophy, the philosophy is that you set this up in nature, right? You use tree wares. I'm using t-shirts, old t-shirts, on the trees so you don't hurt the trees, so you don't hurt your, your line as well. And uh, it's just cool because you're in nature. You are a part of nature. You're sort of getting back to nature. And you're, uh, mind the way. And you're, um, you're, just, you're just essentially learning how to walk again. So like a baby, like a baby doesn't have an ego, they're learning how to walk. And they're learning how to do it without an ego. So all that's in their mind is that I want to do it, I'm going to do it, that's it. You know what I mean? So if you think about that, okay, I'm just a baby and I'm going to walk. It becomes easy. And again, this isn't any hippy-bippy bullshit. It's more like just what makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So if you get rid of the ego, you find that center of balance, you find that focus, you pivot all your weight from here, straight up, your back is straight, arms are up, and it's like a glove. You keep that focus. You can do anything that you can do on the ground. You can go. And like I was saying, like he was saying, you just want to always keep getting back on the, the saddle. You know, if you fall off, the worst that'll happen is you'll fall and roll, right, on grass. So it's no big deal. And it's just fun. It really is like being a kid again. And Seamus here, uh, uh, Mockingbird here, um, Mockingbird, he tried it um, no more than a month ago. Yeah, no more than a month ago. I bought this end of August and uh, like three weeks he's been doing it. And I've been doing it a little bit longer, but 
probably not as not that much longer, given you know he's done a lot. Uh, so about the philosophy, it helps you lose track of surrounding conflicts that are just meaningless. And as long as you stare at the path ahead, everything else is just dust. Exactly. And like if you know, you know. So I set this up on campus, and I set it up specifically at this the main spot where everybody intermingles and goes goes from uh, one class to another. And I do that on purpose because then people see see and they you know they get inquisitive and they sort of are like, oh, what's that? You know, I want to try that. So then that innate curiosity kicks in, like when you're a kid. And, uh, you know, they sort of take the initial risk and say, oh, well, this is cool. I want to try it. You know, I don't know if these guys are jerks or if they're going to laugh at me or whatever. But it's taking that risk is the most important thing. So, again, it's, it's like life. You know, you should take those risks, those calculated risks, because you never know what's going to be on the other end. You never know if that partner or that girl, that guy, is going to be, you know, the person for you. Or you never know if that activity is going to be the coolest thing since, you know, uh, dried bananas. So, it's really the coolest thing you could do that applies to every facet of life. So, since I cycle and do other things, my focus and my balance has become a lot better from doing this. Because you, you're forced to focus. And you're forced to focus on the basics, which is just your balance and... Um, and just standing. Right? It's more than a rope. Like the trees, it ties a lot of things together. Yeah. Yeah, it's more than a rope. So, uh, any last words, Seamus? Uh, Mockingbird? It's great with the ladies. It's great with the ladies. So, like the old Mockingbird, it's great with the ladies, if you know what I mean. The line will get you some ladies. They'll be swarming you. Right this second. Ah, right this second. These acorns. They're here. But also, behind the camera, there's a plethora of naked ladies. Naked guys too, for you know you ladies out there. And because they see the line and they say, they come out of the woodwork. And they see you doing the line and they're just saying, oh wow, it's so cool, I want to try it. So, it'll get you a plethora of naked ladies. We're naked guys, if that's your thing. And uh, we're going to get back to some slacktivities. But come join us next time you see us around. And uh, I'll catch you later.